Hi, and welcome to the Oliver Fetter YouTube channel. Today, we're going to take a look at the rabbit. Check it out! And, uh, I had a uh, subscriber ask, uh, here we go, Tanker Man 131 this is for you. Uh, can you show how you tuned the fuel pump and what transmission you are running? It is a five speed. So I guess there's not a whole lot actually special about it, frankly, besides that it's five speed. Diesels come standard with four speed and it's just nice to have more gears. You can, you can get through them faster, more shifts. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of a cool mod. The one tricky thing is when you go to five speed, you have to switch your shift linkage. So I ended up getting a Heim joint shift linkage kit from usually sideways rally team link maybe in description uh and it wasn't all there i had to do some custom things to make it work uh but it has like a weighted shifter now and everything's heim joints instead of plastic so it's really robust and feels nice uh so five speed short throw shifter uh heim joint shift linkage built clutch pretty much it mostly standard moving on to the fuel pump here we are it is this unit right here. I apologize that everything looks disgusting. Uh, my ex-girlfriend actually dumped water in my hood stack and it sprayed old soot all over the nice paint everywhere in my engine bay. So I now have to figure out how to degrease everything. Nice. Stay away from ladies like that. Uh, so pump at least. This is the diaphragm that is boost referenced. And here's your throttle right here. We can show it running in a minute, but not right now. And so you can see this throttle hits the screw on the back side. Uh, and the screw on the back side that it rests against is your idle speed screw. So uh, the thing to keep in mind here is when you adjust your fuel screw, which is over here, the amount of fuel going in the pump will change the RPMs of your engine. So you have to adjust these two things in tandem uh, to get the end result you're looking for. And so I'm probably going to go ahead and tune this with the engine running because nothing drastic is going to happen. But the one thing I'm looking for is basically how much fuel can I add before I get rev hang? Because you don't want rev hang because that shit's scary. So when you hit the pedal and it goes and it never comes back. And that's terrifying because I don't want a runaway engine. Uh, so we're going to tune it just to the point where there's a little bit of comfy room before getting rev hang. And we're going to chill right there. Uh, and then once we've set the fuel screw, we're going to go back and tweak that RPM screw to make sure we're getting the basically just idling where we want it to be. All right, so we're gonna fire this thing up, and uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and play with the two screws there to try to achieve maximum fuel without rev hang. Off we go. Standard, way through the boat looks, all that good jazz.
More fuel, no rev hang. Beautiful. So now, notice how the RPMs increase. I'm going to turn the RPM, basically idle speed screws, back just a little bit to take that out. So it's the screw on the back side of the pump. I've got to turn it this way to dial it back. I'm exploited. This thing should hock today. Because this is about as built as the setup right now is going to get. We're using the maximum amount of fuel possible with this fuel pump, and we're using, or with this injectors rather. Maybe we can change that in the future. Probably not. Uh, and we're using the maximum amount of boost this turbo can provide. So this is, this is max on this engine build. Uh, that's not to say I'm probably not going to rebuild it in the future because I think that's in the pipeline for the, the next couple of months, but I'm excited for this because this is we're seeing maximum potential out of a, a single big turbo with my current setup. It's going to be seek. Fucking awesome! We made just under 30 pounds of boost. Uh, it stood out the road, which was fucking sick. It went really fast. I hope we got a clip of it, but there's a couple shifts that went something like this, and that's freaking cool. Because before, like previous to tuning it in today, I wouldn't be able to keep boost between shifts, but it does now, and that's freaking sick. Uh, so thank you to my subscribers 
uh, your comments are awesome, honestly. It gives me ideas on what to do to this. And uh, I hope you like what I do, frankly, because uh, I find it interesting and it's a lot of fun. Because, uh, like, I don't know if I would have tuned in that fuel pump today and had a blast had I someone not thrown it on a video. So leave a comment, like, subscribe, and uh, I'm going to keep this shit coming because it's fucking awesome. Thank you.